Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Catherine and today I'm gonna to lead you through a quick and fun 20 minute bar energy routine. So grab a chair, a mat, and let's get started. Okay, so begin by rolling your shoulders back a few times, really opening up your chest here. We're just gonna go for four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to your hips, elbows come back. And we're gonna begin by stepping into first position. So you can bring those heels together and just doing a few gentle plies to warm up. Yeah, so starting with a gentle knee bend here. I don't know where you are that you're watching this video, um, but I am in Southern Alberta and it's very cold <laughs> recently. So we need that extra time, at least if you're in a cold climate, to warm up well so you can exercise safely. I have the fire behind uh, assisting me in my warm up. So we're gonna go for four, three, two. Okay, next one, hold at the bottom and it's just tiny little pulses here. So this is a good chance to check our form before we progress any further with any plies today. So you want your knees following your toes. So what determines where our knee placement typically is in something like this, especially if we aren't professional ballerinas, is our hip mobility. So we want to make sure that our hips and our knees are in line as well as with our feet. So if our hips are really tight, sometimes what happens is we open our feet further then our knees can follow. Yeah, eight more counts here. Ready for eight, seven, you got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and come back up. Okay, we're gonna step wide to a nice second position. So same thing again, plie, plie. Yeah, perfect. We go for eight, you got it, seven, so check those knees, they're following your toes. Five, almost there for four. Three, two, okay. Hold down here on this one, little pulses. We go for eight, seven, you got it. Six, five, four, three, two, hold here. You're gonna lift your arms a little bit and we're just gonna do tiny open, tiny open for eight. Seven, six, five, nice job for four, three, two, and one. Pulse, here we go, pulse, pulse. Can you roll your shoulders back a little bit more? We want that space between our ears and shoulders, really encouraging that good posture. For eight, seven, nice job. Six, five, four, three, two, hold here. Go hands to hips, we open that chest. Pulling those elbows back, we come up and down. Up and down, nice job. Up, down, up and down for eight. You got it. Seven, almost there. First six, five, nice job. Four, three, two, Okay, next one, hold down here. We're gonna go lift, lift, lift. Again, keep those ears away from your shoulders. Okay, sink a little lower with those legs. Keep those arms going. Yeah, four more, are you ready? We go for four, three, two, and one. Hands to hips, open that chest, we pulse, pulse. Yeah, you got it, you can make it. Get those muscles engaged. Okay, eight counts to go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, walk those feet in. Just give them a little shake. Okay, we're gonna focus on some hip movements now, okay? So we're gonna try and tick our hips up and down, side to side. We're gonna do this from a first position. So you have your knees following your toes. See if you can engage your glutes now. So instead of your bum sticking out when you plie, we wanna tuck it back in. Okay, so heels are together. Knees follow our toes. Hands to hips, we open that chest. 
and we engage those glutes or our bum muscles to get a really good pulse here. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, hold down here. We're gonna give the hip ticks a try. You're just gonna do a little lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Yeah, perfect, we're gonna do four more. There's four, nice job. For three, two, one more. Okay, can you do the other side, yeah? So if this is a new movement to you, um, they get easier with practice. So don't be discouraged if you don't have much hip movement today. It'll come with time. Four more, ready? Four, nice job. For three, two left, you got this. Two, yeah, can you feel those legs? Uh, okay, we're gonna come up, down. We come up and down. Up and down for six. Yeah, keep that open chest, don't give it up. For four, nice job. Three, two left, two. Okay, you got this. Hold down here, it's a full circle this time. So full hip circle. Yeah, four more this way. We go for four, three, two. Okay, can you reverse the direction? We gotta get some balance. We go for eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, hold here at center. We go pulse, pulse. Yes, can you feel those legs? They are burning. Let's go for eight, seven, you can do this. Six, five, little lower for four, three, two, and one. Okay, release. Give those legs a little shake. Yeah, you can move those hips side to side. Okay, and then again, wiggle those feet. Okay, we're going to use our chair now, which is always fun. It's nice to have our in-home bar <laughs> or whatever you want to think of it. So you're gonna roll those shoulders back. So a big part of doing bar or any ballet inspired exercise is good posture. So we keep our shoulders back as you breathe out. Feel your shoulder blades slide into their slots. We're gonna extend one leg here, staying nice and tall. And we're just gonna lift and lower. We lift and lower for six and lower. Nice job. Five and lower. Four and lower, you got it. Three and lower, two and lower. Okay, next one, hold here, let's go pulse. Pulse. Low and steady here, focusing on that tall spine. We go for four, three, two, Okay, lift and lower again, ready? Yeah, not so bad, right? For six, and up. Five, and up, you got it. Four, and up. Three, and up. Two, and up. One, okay, hold here, can you lift one arm? We go, pulse, pulse, you got it. For six. Five, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, release, quick hip circles. And let's switch sides here. So we roll those shoulders back. We have that nice wide chest, tall spine. Point those toes. Ready, lift and lower. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. Let's go for eight. Eight, seven. Yeah, you're keeping that gentle grip on your chair. We don't want it to be a, <laughs> a grip for dear life. We're keeping that tension out of our hands, muscle engagement in our legs. We go for three, two left, two. Okay, next one, you're gonna hold at the top and you pulse, pulse, pulse. You can do it, pulse, pulse for four, Three, two, okay, down and up again, ready? And up. Six more of these, yes, for six. 
five. See if you can stand up even taller. Four, three, almost there. Two, okay, you know what happens on the next one? Yeah, little pulses here. Can you do that arm as well? Pulse, pulse, four more, ready for four. Three, two, and one. Okay, release. Little hip movements here. Okay, we're gonna use our chair again. This time the seat is gonna face towards you. I use the seat of my chair, but if you want it up a bit higher, you can use that back, it's up to you. Roll those shoulders back. Engage that core and hinge forward at your hips. So all I mean by a hinge, you can imagine a door hinge, opening and closing a door. It's that exact same movement as we lean forward. So it's not a round, it's a hinge. So we're gonna place our hands down here and you're gonna fill up your back. So we don't want that dip in our low back. Fill it up to start here. It's naturally gonna go back to a neutral position as we progress through this exercise. So back is full, you're pushing into your hands. We're gonna work into our glutes so swing one leg back, foot is flexed, and you're gonna pulse up. Yeah, nice job. So if you feel this move in your low back, that's not where we wanna feel it. Typically it's because you're arching like this, trying to reach, and instead of using those glutes, we're straining in the low back area. So if you feel low back, reevaluate your position, see if you can fill up that back a little more for four, three, Two, and one. Okay, we aren't done with this leg yet. Extend it out behind you. Refill that back if you need. And it's little pulses. Pulse, 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 pulse. Yeah, just like that. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Round forward. You can do a few movements back and forth. Maybe getting a little bonus hamstring stretch in here. I think I'm finally warm, you guys, <laughs> from the fire. We have goats, chickens, and ducks um, where I live. And with the cold weather, we've been out or in and out a lot checking them. So you sort of get warmed up inside, and the next thing you know, you're back out checking the animals. Uh, so that's what I've been doing today, so it's nice to have this warmth. Okay, are you ready, other side? Let's get those wrists stacked below our shoulders. We want a nice full back, protecting that low back here. Swing up that other leg, flex that foot, and you're gonna press, press. Yeah, this isn't so bad, right? Yeah, you got it. Okay, can you go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend that leg, and it's little pulses here. The standing leg has to work. This core has to work as well as this glute for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Okay, round that back. Let's get a quick little stretch here. Okay, this is our last work song before we stretch. And for this work song, we're gonna have some fun with some core, core moves. So you can set that chair aside. Come to lay on your back on your mat. I know some people don't like doing ground exercises, so if that is the case for you, this is three minutes. It's very short, so see if you can stick it out. We're gonna hug our knees in here briefly. Okay, exhale those feet down. As you exhale those feet down, check in with your back. So have you arched off your mat? You don't want that. Tuck that core in, feeling your pelvis rock back. We want core engagement whole time here to protect our back, okay? We're gonna begin with a basic crunch. You can lace your fingers behind your head. Elbows are wide, and when you're ready, we're just gonna curl up and down. Up and down. Trying to keep space between our chin and our chest. One thing I read one time is that you should pretend you're holding a soft peach between that chin and chest area, so we don't want that chin to come down, that strains our neck instead of engaging our core or working our abs, especially on this front side here. Okay, let's do four more together. Yeah, three, you got it. Two, one more. Okay, hug those knees in. 
Little rock side to side. Okay, as you exhale, bring those feet down. Again, check in with this core. We've engaged it so we aren't arching us off our mat. We're gonna lift our legs up 90 degrees. And we're gonna start with a toe tap. And toe tap here. Yeah, if you don't feel any ab or core sensation yet, you're gonna have to move those feet a little further away from your body. So it's not about the knee bend here. So I could just do a heel to bum. That's not using my core. It's about the hip. So you wanna increase that angle at your hip joint. So keep that core strong. Seven more, you can do this. There's seven. Just six left. Six. Five. Almost there, it feels good, right? We can do it for four. Three, keep engaging that core. Two, one last one. Okay, as you inhale, hug those knees, little rocks side to side. Okay, on your next inhale, rock yourself up, nice seated position. You can come forward. And as you inhale, sit back up, and we're gonna stretch out together. So nice job, you guys. That wasn't so bad, right? Nice and quick. You can bring the soles of your feet together for a good butterfly stretch. We're gonna roll those shoulders back. Sitting nice and tall here. Taking a few deep breaths, if that feels good for you. And then as you inhale, lift those knees together, change to a cross-legged position. We're gonna inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. And walk those hands to one side, keeping both sit bones, bones, <laughs> sit bones. I don't even know what I was saying. Sit bones pressed, please. If this is irritating your back, this twisted fold, um, one thing you can try and adjust in it is how tall your spine is. So instead of it being a rounding of the spine, it's my spine is tall, I walk it forward, and then I'm going into that twist from there. Um, one thing that I really believe is important with fitness is if an exercise is hurting our body, um, in a way that's not just growing our muscles, it's causing injury. There's a billion exercises out there, so chances are we don't need that one kind of thing. So always feel free. Come back to center, hold here briefly. Um, always feel free to move in a way that best supports you or adjust things as needed. Okay, exhale, other side, please. Again, focusing on that nice, tall spine here. See if you can take a few really nice deep breaths here. Remember, a deep breath helps relax our parasympathetic nervous system, which is obviously great for our body. That's our rest and digest half. So that's a good state to be in. Okay, come back to center. Inhale yourself tall. Imagine all your vertebrae or pieces of your spine have a little bit more space in between them. Roll those shoulders back as you inhale, reach. Exhale, lean, see if you can open that chest to the ceiling a bit. If you're getting tingling in that hand, know that you can always bring it down behind you. It's whatever feels good. Okay, inhale and exhale. Again, opening up here. And as you inhale, come back up. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will see you again soon. Bye friends.